How's the bad looking? The bad, I think it's making me a little bit stronger, but we'll see. Um, so yesterday's session was back onto the 90 degree handstand push-ups again. Um, and again, another session on the P-bars. So I'm spending a little bit more time on the P-bars because I've just done so much floor, so much box uh, in the past. So I'm now going to spend a little bit more time on the P-bars and just to mix it up a little bit. So I'm just going to break down the 90 degree handstand push-up again, specifically for the P-bars today. Um, so yesterday I went through a few options, some, some beginner stuff. So basically before you start doing the 90 degree handstand push-up, we have some prereqs. So what you want to do is get, get yourself some P-bars. Um, sort of the knee height is really good for this. Um, and then I'm just going to practice going into that shoulder stand position. So just get comfortable in that. So if you notice in the shoulder stand position, my shoulders are slightly off the P-bars. And then I'm in that angle. So you want to get very comfortable in this position, whether, you're, whether your legs are straight or whether you're in a tuck position. And now comfortable means you want to be able to move around, you want to be able to hold a conversation in it. You want to be, be able to enter and exit that position, both in a tuck and both in a straight position. Now, because it is a 90 degree handstand push-up we're going for as well, we want to try and get comfortable in that like bent arm planche position. So you see there with the legs out straight. Now, I'm not showing it here, but there is an in-between stage you can go where you go into more of a straddle position, uh, but just get really comfortable with taking the shoulders very far forwards over the hands and creating balance and be able to have that seesaw. So if you dip the shoulders down, the feet raise up and back again. So it's a little bit easier than on the floor because the shoulders can go below the hands. So if you don't have that movement, if you don't have the shoulder stand, definitely spend some time on that. It's an easy one to do on uh, like daily because it doesn't shouldn't use up much energy. Um, obviously, handstanding up on the P-bars, another prerequisite before we do 90 degree handstand push-ups being able to comfortably kick up for reps um, and be able to fall out of that position as well. Okay, now this could be your training if you're working towards doing the P-bar, handstand push-ups, um, up on the wall, just banging out some reps like that. So more of a strength element, taking the balance away, but we're trying to replicate the handstand push-up as best we can. So notice there in that bottom position, my elbows are in, I've created a triangle between my hands and my head, and I've still got that straight body line position. So we can just do the eccentric, so just coming down, showing control at the bottom in the shoulder stand and then coming out of it. Or we could go up and down. So I could go down and then walk back up the wall. Or if you've got socks on and it's a small wall, you can slide back up. Okay, next is to start working on some eccentrics up on the P-bars freestanding. Now you could go through the 90 degree handstand push-up if you have that. If you don't have that as an eccentric, you could do the same thing. So you come down to your normal handstand push-up position, so like your shoulder stand position. Then when you get there, you pause, and then you take your shoulders forwards and go into the bent arm planche. Okay, then we do that 90 degree handstand push-up again, eccentric, but this time holding the bent arm planche at the bottom. So not going back up, but just pausing in that position. Longer is obviously harder than um, just going all the way down to toes to floor. Then we can think about going back up. Now when we go back up, you can first do it in like a bent body position, so quite a closed position, so the lever arms aren't quite so big. And you can use quite a bit of momentum through this because you can jump a little bit as you go up and not worrying so much about keeping the body super tight. So the same thing, but now you're gonna keep the body straight using momentum, but you're trying to replicate the correct movement, the correct positioning of the body. And obviously just do the eccentric on the way down as well. So you're getting the up and the down. And then once you've done that, it's actually going for the full movement. Before I went into the full movements yesterday, this is the warm up I done. So just some push up variations on the P-bars and then just some transitions in and out of the bent arm planche position, mixing it up between straight body and a tucked body. Uh, and then going up more into a shoulder stand position and then doing the same thing, but pushing up into like a partial range handstand push up. And then I went straight into the 90 degree handstand push ups. So my focus, what I'm trying to improve on is that top section. So when I get very top up here, that's when I start to lose it and my legs start to come apart a little bit. So I'm trying to squeeze the legs together, point the toes and keep everything tight to go back up. Sometimes I can get it perfectly. Yesterday they were still just opening a little bit. And then I finished with a combination. So I went for a straddle press with the feet on the P-bars, a 90 degree handstand push up, and then finished in the press with a little hover of the toes at the bottom before um, landing back onto the P-bars with the toes. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions regarding the handstand push-ups or the 90 degree handstand push-ups. Thumbs up and subscribe will be appreciated. And I'll speak to you next time. Thanks guys.